gentlemen, I've got to. Uh, so, uh, uh, uh. Okay, it's not your network. It's me. I go on you, but no panic. <laughs> so now I'm going to teach you how I was able to create this design. Of course, this design was inspired by Almighty Leye. And if you do not know who Leye is, probably you should check another um, industry. <laughs> no product design. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so this is an interesting design, right? That is, um, it's a mobile app integrated towards um, an adaptive, um, what's the word, eco-friendly technology. Okay? Gets that that's yeah, yeah that's what it is right and ai systems you know this application pretty much or the concept of adaptive echo is that you create a system or there's a system that adapts to occupant behavior preference environmental condition this in return helps minimize um energy consumption reduce waste and promote a more sustainable world of living right so this is an app that kind of like visualize that idea all right that technology okay when being um, integrated to your smartphone or whatever, right? So the goal was, for me, it was just the aesthetics. I was in love with the aesthetics when I saw it, right? So I needed to replicate it to just help my mind, all right? So what I'm even thinking of now is giving this guy a stroke. Who, who else saw it with me? Who else? Who else? And are we going lighter or are we going darker? Darker? Mm, lighter would have slapped though. If it was too slap. But then... That's not why we're here. All right, so I'm just going to tell you the, the gist, right? So I'm not using black, right? I'm sorry, I'm not using white. I'm using what a shade, right? And you can see if I go to my HSB, it's right around 84. And these guys here also are not white. Of course, it's 92. Now, the reason I'm not using white is because you can see, seeing it from, from Twitter or wherever it come, came from or LinkedIn, you can see how subtle, how easy it is on the eyes. Okay? It's, it's beautiful, right? I think moving forward, I will no one to use white. <laughs> I actually no one to use white because it, it's just appealing. It makes sense in the eyes. So yeah, sh shout out to that. So I pretty much did not outline my color scheme. I'm not even going to lie, right? I did not. And the original design was done with a very lovely color scheme. But I just wanted to make mine in gray, in black and white. All right. So yeah. Pretty much, I would do that maybe when I'm shipping the file to you guys, all right? So, but you can see what's going on here. I like the fact that this guy here does not necessarily look clickable. It looks like, what's the word, component that is meant to display info. Mm-hmm. Info. Okay, no. Anyways, that's it. So, yeah, my icons, I got my icons from SVG repo, guys. All right? So, I know you guys want to just... Guy, tell me how you take create some meat with the bounce. All right, all right, we are coming there, guys. We are coming there. There are more interesting things you want to see. For example, if you play the design, I don't know why Figma is not rendering this guy here. I really do not know. But then you can see how sweet this is. See, you can turn on your volume. You can turn it down. You can turn off a button. Turn on active, active. But you can click pretty much. Um, what is the word you can click on your microwave yeah it, this is very it's not yet done ish color is biting ish ish but yeah all right so looks good looks good and this color here most likely should be inherited from this guy yeah he's actually inheriting why is it looking like that ish anyways uh yeah so let me explain to you guys how I was able to do this simple and short. It was simple, right? One of the things you want, you must understand is that in the layer effect, in the effect um, section, you can stack effects on each other and not just what drop shadows. Now this guy here, I didn't use a drop shadow. This is not a drop shadow. This is a what an eclipse that is blurred out. It's not a drop shadow. Just to point that out. Okay. Now. This guy here contains what, if I zoom in, you then start to see the details. Um, yeah, okay, you won't even see the details here. If I zoom into this one, because of the shadow, right, you start to see the details going on here, right? You see, you can see like, it is interesting flare out stroke going on there, but it's not a stroke, guys. There is no stroke on the design. It's simply just what um, a shadow 
with zero blur. Okay, what am I talking? Why not show you? Zero blur, right? But with the control spread, right? And then here, zero blur spread. That's the white and the other shade of black you are seeing, like so. All right, so as for this guy here, the highlights. Now, this is interesting, why? Because the way I actually thought at first that layer was using a layer, like a vector, it probably might be, you probably will get, you should ask him, right? But I thought it was using like a, a, what's the word? A vector, but blurred out because it was so good, right? Then I started to explore and I was like, whenever I tried to draw out my, my inner shadow, it was not working. It comes out from like everywhere, right? When I try to increase the blur, it comes out from everywhere. And I now realize that, whoa, yo, hold up. There is what? There is... There is spread. Now, if I leave my spread to 0%, see what you start to see. Okay? Now, this is the guy coming from here. This flare you see here. If I leave it to 0%, you start to see something like this. Even when I drop the opacity, it still does not almost make sense. Right? Now, you see, because of I minus the spread, now you must make sure that the idea is you bring them out. You control your... You use a negative x axis and a negative y axis to bring it out from around this area and when you do you minus the spread okay an example would be if it was zero spread you see it's something like this right it's something like this sorry if it was zero spread it's more outside but when i start to negative use negative it starts to take it back inside for me to the point where what is just good enough for me to make use of so it falls down right around here i don't want so much then for this other guy here similar method right you will simply use your spread if it is zero you see it's something like this or you simply just use your spread bring it outside to this place and make sure you put the right amount of blur right and since it's from this end we don't need to make it negative just make sure it's positive right and then boom 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 it's out right so now as for this guy that we got here this is simple this is just simply eclipse a stroke right meaning that it is what just a simple ellipse i mean right um with a stroke like this with the stroke right and that stroke is what was right around white afterwards i gave it what uh, um i gave it linear i added linear gradient all right and then the bottom one i just turned it off completely and then the up one i just reduced slightly right so i was able to get this one like so so and then i increased the thickness of the stroke so you see if i what i just did now if i take it here you simply just have the same thing all right so um yeah that's that also for this guy here oh my god like you're saying fascinating just so you know right i copied this same guy here copied it right and then what i copy this and then turn it into an arc and turn it into an arc all right so like this i pretty much just from this place you see a spot like this okay you take it what's inside like so all right and then you try to find the from this place you just turn it this guy you carry guy right around here this is be the start point okay and then this should be like the sweep all right take it here all right, when you do that, you simply just give it a what? A color. Now, I'm going to give it a green color, for example, right? And then this guy here, I'll make that green 100%, right? And then I'll make it, I'll give it, um, so i give it a white, okay? Now, I increase the, the thickness, all right? Then I'll move this somewhere right around there. I can't see what exactly I'm doing, though. Probably I need to bring it up. guys oh my god all right let's do it again all right so take this like for example i'll copy and paste the guy at the top okay let me remove it from linear first first let me make it green first first all right then you turn it into an arc draw this guy inside right then this guy we need to put it here as a start point okay and then here as a sweep like so when you are done with this right then give it what give it gradient 
Let me give it a gradient simple, just do like this. Copy the same color, put here, that's where we need green, and this place turn it into white. That's all. Now the, you can see that mine is rounded. Simply just go to your where to your where is the word stroke, right? Then end point rounded. Simple, simple, ladies and gentlemen. Simple like so. Alright, so yeah, that's that. And all of this, these are things you guys can do. If you need a tutorial on this, just let me know. But then I'm going to share the file later on, right? But that's exactly how I was able to achieve this guy. All right. So, yeah, but for this guy here, I did something interesting. But that was before I discovered it's actually still, I still love it, right? Why? Because you can see that there's a black shining here. It is shining black. Do you get? Because this guy here is not 100% black, right? So there's a black shining here like so. Oof, there's a black shining there. It actually looks way better. Because I had it like, so as an attempt to make this guy show, right? Because I was scared that I probably might not be achieved that until I discovered that you, I can actually make my spread negative, all right? But then, before I discovered that, I introduced a black to cover up for this guy. That's why when I turn off the black, there's a spread. There's a, you can see there's a spread, right? There's a blur of the initial white. When I introduced the black on top of that layer, which is this, this is the white at the back. I introduced a black. You see, and there's this polish covering the rest part of this guy's, right? Because I was brought it in from this axis. Ladies and gentlemen, that's genius. All right, so uh, yeah, thank you very much for your time. I will see you guys in the next lesson. Let me screenshot, guys. Oh, yeah.